All right, welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3 100%. In the last part, I did all the unique jumps and I finished up all of Kenji's missions. In this part, continue with Ray's. I know a real important man in town, a soft touch with, uh, shall we say, exotic tastes and the money to indulge them. He's involved in a legal matter, and the prosecution has some rather embarrassing photos of him at a morgue party or something. The evidence is being driven across town. You are going to have to ram that car and collect each little bit of evidence as it falls out. When you've got it all, leave it in the car and torch it. We're both going to do pretty well out of this. Yeah, th l missions that are supposed to end with, like, very, very, uh, with, like, very, I don't know, emphasized words at the end Sorry. seem to consistently just keep getting cut off. All right. Now, I'm supposed to pick, like, a pretty tough car to be able to take the, to be able to take this evidence. But uh, I think I should be okay in the taxi. I don't want to like risk something with like a land stalker that will just like flip over a lot. I mean, either way, I'm gonna have to torch the evidence, the evidence anyway. But uh, whoa, hey. But I'd like to be able to continuously get the evidence. Anyway, the evidence is on the back of this moving truck. Jesus! guy's going way above the speed limit. And I should know. I am too. What a jackass. Jesus Christ! He's breaking the law too, sir, officer. Did you see him speeding? Alright, somehow I can collect evidence from outside or from inside of a car, even though the evidence is outside. Perhaps, like, uh, just call it has one of those long, uh, grab stick thingies. Anyway, this is the, uh, the mission right here, which is just, well, it's pretty much what they call the, the evi an evidence dash. You keep trying to, you're trying to make it up to him, and you try to bump stuff out of him. And this is actually kind of an interesting way of essentially forcing the player to not be allowed to stay so close to this guy. Because the player has to stop to be able, or has to go out of their way to an extent to be able to grab the evidence. Because you, uh, because this car is a bit too slow to be able to, or sorry, the, uh, the truck, uh, that, I'll tell you right now, that's not how fast the Bobcat can go. Like, I'm pretty sure if I actually went in an actual Bobcat, I wouldn't be able to match up speed with him, or maybe I would, but, like, this is way faster than most pedestrian or most other cars are. So like I'm almost always gonna hit him by the side and not by the back, which is I'm sure like the intended way. Also look at notice the very rubber bandy AI on this guy. It's like he'll slow down once you get close once you're too far away, but once you're close, he fucking guns it. I just in the wait, I just hit him in the back. What the heck? Why did they all have to be slow cars? You fucking cunt! Where are all the cars? Son of a bitch! Another taxi, lovely. All right, hopefully I can catch up. Jesus! Where are these guys even going? Jesus Christ. Oh no. I really hope I didn't lose this guy. I was supposed to make a durable vi a vehicle, as I, as I believe I said, such as that, but I just didn't feel like doing it. I guess that caught up to me. It's like, don't feel, think. Is that how it goes? Ah! Fucking hell. Guy just could not let me go unchallenged. Had
had to change lanes right when I was going. Oh shit, I don't have a torch or any. I don't have a flamethrower. Okay, that's good enough. I really hope the cops don't start shooting at me. There it goes. Alright, cheetah. Alright. I think my partner's a rat! We gotta shut him up permanently! He goes fishing out of his boat near the lighthouse on Portland Rock most nights. Steal a police boat. Make sure his backstabbing plans are sunk. I want him sleeping with the fishes, not eating them. I remember that first opening line from the commercial so well. It's just, uh... Yeah, it, it's just something that was really memorable. It's like, I think I... I think I talked about that. Oh, shit. I, fuck, I left my car on the other side. Uh... Yeah, it was... There's, like, three or four lines in there. Uh, I always loved, like, the, the Grand Theft Auto commercials well, that were shown for just their style. <laughs> Alright, now what we have to do is steal a police boat. Ooh, once again, we're going right back to Portland. It's strange that they have us go to this specific locale when there's a police boat that's actually right at Oscar's Harbor. Or, sorry, Pier. Uh, now, I never, I'm not sure if I've ever talked about the f boat physics in GTA 3. The, I remember the boat physics in GTA 3 on the PS2 just felt awful. Like, in Vice City, they felt a bit better, but they still weren't that great. I think this is probably used with, I, I think this port was made using portions of the Vice City engine, because this does seem a bit different, uh, or the even just the street gameplay feels a little bit different. And the, while the rhythm of this is a bit, uh, still a bit nauseating, it still, it seems to feel a lot better than the PS2 version. Or perhaps that's a consequence of the mod. Yakumi. See. Si. Ah, fuck. Okay, he runs right away as soon as he sees you. And his car, or his boat, is much more maneuverable than yours. Ah, jeez. And braking physics in this game, or, or braking physics for the boats, are very different from cars, which makes sense, but it makes it for, but it makes for, uh, Jesus. Very, very, uh, tricky. Uh, segments. Ah, man. So yeah, this is what'll happen, is that eventually he'll just, uh, choose to dock himself. Oh, fuck. Oh, I think I crushed him. Yep. Now, this is a bit dangerous. Because I am right in Mafia territory, but thankfully I'm close enough to the pier where hopefully that won't be a problem. Back to Ray's. Okay, back to Roy. This is actually what I remember to be both a really gruesome mission when I thought about it too much, and also just a really goofy mission in how it's presented. You useless bastard! You totally messed up! My ass is on the line, and you can't even kill a goddamn fly! I paid you good money to kill that witness, and he ain't dead! And today he's gonna make a federal deposition! He's being moved any second now from the Carson General Hospital up in Rockford. If he squeals, I squeal! Hmm. I believe this is actually the only time I've ever heard of, like, uh, somebody pretty much threatening your character with... I'll tell the cops about you. You know, which I imagine is just like, oh, if you fail this mission, you instantly get a... <laughs> you instantly get a six-star wanted rating, and it can be removed. That'd be hilarious. Anyway. This mission, like, you, you'll see what I mean when I mean it's kind of gruesome about what you're doing, but also just the way it looks. It's kind of ridiculous. That trash master actually might be one of the best vehicles for this section. Shit! Oh, I forgot. 
damn it. I forgot that they were actually were directly on the lookout for me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Let's see if I can get this. Look! Holy shit. God damn it. Every, I, don't, I don't know why, but everyone seems to get, like, the ambulance around the same portion of Liberty City. Just that one street. Damn, but this ambulance is going fast. God damn. Wish I could handle the ambulance that well. Oh, my God. No. Fuck. Oh, my God. The cops, the Colombians are working together. Fuck. Holy shit! Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm close to damage. Police! Freeze! Oh, oh, get get out of my way! Jesus! I have an ambulance to catch! Fucking hell! Jesus! Oh no! He's going downtown to be able to talk to the Liberty City. Uh, he's gonna make dis disposition. Fuck! God damn it! Crap, this ambulance takes a completely different route every time. It's actually kind of bizarre. I think the idea is that you can't is that you can't predict where he's gonna go. So you can't just go ahead and like just blast it with a rocket launcher like I'm trying to do. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Holy crap, he's on his way. Jesus. Fuck. I have to be able to get ahead of him, but fuck! Holy crap. Colombian cartel members. Oh shit, is he above? No, he's at the stoplight, okay. So I guess he just got good traffic. Yes! What? Fuck! Shit, I forgot about that! That actually makes sense as a, as a fucking smart way of <laughs> stopping the player from using cheapo tactics. God damn, okay, I guess the intention was go to ammunition, fucking get Uzi ammo. And fucking drive by. Ah! Open your fucking police car. God damn it. And I'm not sure if this was an intentional decision, but it seems like it was to make it more difficult was to put it around the Colombians who are just gonna keep shooting at me no matter what. I've never seen him actually make this turn. He usually goes for like a U-turnish. You are risking your life. Oh, he's not police. Fuck. God damn it! He didn't take damage. Fuck. Okay, he only has one way, so I'm gonna go around the entire stadium, cut him off, and blow him up there. All right. Unless he does another U-turn. I'm gonna be pissed off if he does. Shit, shit, shit! Oh, of course, now it starts raining! And I get fucking rain physics. Ah, shit. God damn it. What the fuck? He's not alerted. Oh, what the hell? Why is it going right out of my right Jesus Christ! How many fucking decoys are there?! God damn. All right, this one's a bit easier. Stop with the fucking decoys. Jesus Christ. I don't remember this many decoys last time. Is this an upgrade for the, PS the, the PS2 version? Holy fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Come on. Alright, I take it that, like, it's just gonna keep being decoys until they spot me. What the? Oh, I forgot he bails out. So I could have just shot it a few times. How the hell did he bail out? He's just like, an in. 
a completely immobile ca a mobile cast. But anyway, I remember the quick way to do this is actually, as I said, it's both funny but gruesome. It's got to stop moving my car! Okay, just put a car on top of the guy and then blow up the car up. He'll take continu continuous. No, he didn't. Fuck. God damn it. Fuck. Holy shit. God damn! Uh, who the fuck is laughing? Jesus! Fucking FBI cars! God damn! Shit! Jesus! Holy fuck, I don't remember this mission being this hard! to actually run over this guy, but Jesus! Holy crap! Aggressive driver! Woo! Holy crap! Oh my god! I'm pretty sure fucking body casts aren't actually that strong, but goddamn. That got brutal! Oh! Wow. Jesus. I don't even remember when I met the guy who has the D. I probably should have phrased that better. But yeah, there's just a, a D insignia here, and I can't even remember when we met the guy. I know who it is, it's Donald Love, but... Holy shit. Wow, that was a lot harder than I thought it was. Alright, now I'm gonna go to the off-road missions. I believe there are two on this island, and they are... I know, I think one's at Asuka's place, and the other's in a car park that I already went to for one of the unique jumps. Why the hell did I think it was For here? It's actually in the park that I was just... It was actually in the park where Ray is. I probably should have guessed that, actually. Like, I think in... it's uh, Obviously, this is based on, like, uh... The famous park in New York and the freaking... I always remember just the, the building there, just for that once... Just for a scene in Ghostbusters. Anyway, this is... Yep. Two missions to collect 12 checkpoints. Collect them in any order, however, it looks like there actually is a fixed order for this. Quite fixed. Wait, how the fuck do I get over there? Shallow water, shallow water, shallow water, shallow water! Oh, it is shallow water. Oh, fuck. Wow, I forgot how strict this was. Alright, this car is rather famous as, like, uh... The Flip Stalker, so... If I start to flip over, you know why. Jesus! Holy crap. For a car that's not very fast, they put a pretty damn strict time limit on being able to do anything on this. Jesus. Wow, this car actually is a little bit faster than I thought. Shit! And that's how it got the name Flipstalker. Got it. Fuck! God damn it! Alright, so... Let's just try to get... No! No, no, no! Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Shit! What the fuck? This is what it's supposed to be a special layout! Fuck. Of course! God damn it! God damn it. You son of a bitch. Fucking flip stalker. Want me to do angled goddamn climbs in a car like that? Jesus Christ. Oh my God! Oh my God! Even reversals cause it to flip. Oh my God! Slightly raised fucking dirt causes this shit to flip. Ah! Uh. Oh, come on! Ah! Uh. Fucking hell, Flip Stalker! Jesus Christ! At least with like the the goddamn Patriot, like 
it like rolled, but the thing was like the hills were long enough to the point where you could roll through, or like the hills, like you could re retain traction for a certain amount. But the thing about the land stalker is that it doesn't seem to take hills well at all. It kind of like bumps into them and then starts to climb up. Like even like if you saw me trying to climb the dirt there, for example, like that, it looks like everything in the land stalker seems to first have to come over like a little bit of a of a square ramp or something. I don't know, but it just does not look right. God damn it, I missed it. See, even that car handled flips better than this fucking thing. Only Jesus. Makes I think like the I think like maybe the way the car is modeled it just has really low suspension. So every little bump fucks up oh my god. Holy shit. Look at this. I'm not retaining any fucking traction at all. God damn. Is this really an off-road car? Holy shit. I thought, like, the Patriot was kind of annoying when I first, like, played the Patriot Playground. This is far more annoying. Jesus Christ. I already don't really like driving big cars in real life. Because I always find them kind of annoying to try to get uh, the right type of... Oh, my God. Motherfucker. Ugh. Maybe it's the entire point of this is just to realize how shit the Land Stalker is, and then just say, "Yeah, d don't you appreciate those nice sport sports cars we usually have you in the, uh, use in this area? Those are nice." Oh my God! I just realized it's raining, so now my, the physics are going to get even worse. God damn it! Go up the hill! Fucking hell! God damn it! Oh my god. Fuck. Oh. Maybe this system is just a big joke on people who like SUVs. For fuck's sake. Oh my god. God. Fucking damn it! God damn it! Fucking trees! Ah. Yeah. Look at these fucking trees, by the way. God damn it. Alright, my car is too damaged to be able to continue with this. It's gonna it's, it would, it would blow up like halfway through anyway. So yeah, all these trees, I can't fucking tell shit because they're all goddamn pictures. Oh, okay. I, I, I was just testing something right now just to see, like, if I could get that checkpoint without having to jump over, and it turns out you can. Just to see if. Oh, of course. I was gonna see if I could still, like, um. What's it called? I could salvage the run, but nope. It flipped over. No! Fuck! Goddamn trees! Ah! Fucking hell! Constantly with the fucking flipping over! Jesus Christ! car in the other off-road mission in this is also really bad. Fuck. Or at least if I remember it correctly. Alright, so 
it looks like I have to take these like at a sheer at like directly forward. God damn. Ah. Whoa! Ah, fuck. And I forgot there's just one checkpoint completely by itself. Just as a way of saying, yeah, you're only gonna get this if you have enough time to do the rest well. But! Alright, come on. Don't flip over. Do not flip over. I have, now I have enough time to get the one across over the fence. Alright. Shit. Okay. Don't flip over. I'm over. Oh! Oh my god! Thank god. And of course, to celebrate, how else? But a victory, roll over. Fucking flip stuff. Burn in hell. Oh, fuck. And that's not even the end of it. We have one more off-road mission to do. Okay, this is kind of a weird mission in that in order to be able to trigger this, you actually have to go outside of the fucking... Uh, you have to go outside of the garage and then bring it in. Doing our thing at hiphophoneys.com. Kind of strange. It ain't no thing but a chicken wing with a big butt laying on your lap. Game radio, you listen to Lord Sid, who's Puerto Rican and black. The timer will start immediately. I think this is just a way of making sure that uh, you could definitely, uh, you always had a specific time limit. But because of the how vehicle specific this is, I'm surprised anybody ever found this on their own. And I'd be surpri frankly surprised if it never was found on its own. Alright. Now, as you can tell, the minimap is completely friggin' useless. Alright. But, oh fuck. You, you're required to have rather specific driving in this. This is a bit more forgiving. Wow. What a cunt. Cunt placement right there. Jesus Christ. Alright. Fucking hell. Alright. Alright. I'm trying to get this as fast as possible. Man. Although I will say this, it is already. Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought it was the Idaho, by the way, but it's actually the Stallion. Um, I'll say this right now. This is a way better mission than the Flip Stalker one. Because at least this one I can fucking avoid goddamn flipping over every 10 seconds. Jesus. Oh my god, but I can't fucking stop the game from stuttering for some reason. I think this might be a consequence of it actually being recorded. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, I'm gonna just barely have enough time to do this. Wow. God damn it. Oh no! I didn't get them all! Fuck! I would have got it too! Fuck. I'm out of time. Alright, is it just when I enter or. No, I have to. Like. Exit the car and then get back in. So bizarre. I'm sure there's an optimal way of doing this, but I am not familiar with this, and I don't have enough pre-planning time to figure out the optimal strategy. Plus, I got the additional problem that the minimap is useless, and the minimap is generally the best way of planning any kind of, like, strange course of actions. Fuck. God, this is such an asshole fucking placement. Why the hell did I do that little bit of friggin' elegant over driving? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna be hearing this fucking tone of my sleep, I swear. 
All right. Thankfully, these, these upper levels, presumably because they don't want sun damage getting done in their cars, uh, are a bit emptier. All right. Ah, this order makes sense. Holy shit. And I'll use the other one as just a marker of how far back I'm going to have to go back. Oh, shit. Wow, I'm really lucky that I didn't catch my car. Twice. That's gonna be it for this part of Let's Play. Fucking Grand Theft Auto 3 100%. Join me next time when I will not use a Flip Stalker ever fucking again. See you guys then.